Concreting plays a major important role in the construction process. Concrete fills the skeleton of the structure and finally we get the structure in the form of desired shape. While concreting, the concrete needs to be poured properly into the formwork and the proper vibration needs to be done. So these are all the major things we need to take care while concreting and before concreting we need to check whether the formworks are properly placed or not. So these things we need to take care before concreting and at the time of concrete. Once the concreting is done, we need to do curing in order to achieve the desired strength of the concrete. So curing is also super important process in order to increase the desired strength of the concrete. Hey friends, welcome back to Civil Engineering Mastery. In this video, we are going to discuss about curing. As we know, curing helps to increase the concrete strength. We face many problems during curing the concrete. We need proper manpower because the minimum period of curing will be 7 days. So that 7 days time, we need to provide a proper manpower if the area is very large. Concreting area is very large, we need to provide the proper manpower in order to maintain proper curing of the concrete area. We have different types of curing methods like wet curing, ponding, but these methods and all require manpower. So in order to reduce this manpower, nowadays there are curing compounds which is available in the market. So we can use this curing compound and then we can reduce the manpower and we can save time. These curing compounds are economical when compared to the other methods of curing. So in this video, let's discuss what is curing, why curing is necessary and what is the curing period as per IS codes and standards and let's discuss the different methods of curing and finally let's discuss about the curing compounds which is available in the market so without further delay let's begin now first let's start with what is curing it is the process of maintaining the moisture of freshly placed concrete to complete the hydration process in simple form consider a human body if we don't drink proper water so we'll get dehydrated so you need to drink proper water in order to make your Self hydrate. So the same process we need to do it in the concrete to maintain the moisture of freshly placed concrete to make the concrete hydrated. So here we must know about the hydration process. So what is hydration? Hydration is the chemical reaction between water and cement that results in the formation of various chemicals which is contributing to setting and hardening of concrete. Curing needs to be started at the earliest. It needs to be started when the surface is hot enough to a person to walk over it without any damage to the concrete. So it needs to be started at the earliest in order to prevent the moisture loss of concrete. This curing process enhances proper hardening, durability and desired strength of the concrete. So the main process is we need to maintain the moisture of the freshly placed concrete and we need to complete the hydration process of the concrete. Now let's look into why curing is necessary. To increase the durability, impermeability of concrete and reduce the shrinkage. To enhance the hydration of concrete to achieve the desired compressive strength. So it is very important. The curing helps to increase the durability and impermeability of concrete. Since it increases the moisture on the surface of the concrete, hence it reduces the shrinkage. And it helps to enhance the hydration of concrete to achieve the desired compressive strength of the concrete. It helps to increase the abrasion resistance it makes the concrete more impermeable so these are all the major reason why we need to do curing so finally we need to achieve the desired compressive strength of the concrete we need to achieve the we need to increase the compressive strength of the concrete so in order to achieve that we need to do curing we need to ma maintain the moisture content of the freshly placed concrete. So that's why we need to do the curing immediately once the concrete start hardening. Next, let's look into the curing period as per IS 456-2000. Minimum 7 days of mushed curing is required. Minimum 7 days we need to cure the concrete. As per IS 7861-1975 part 1, minimum 10 days under hot weather condition we need to do the curing. So as per IS 456, minimum 7 days and as per IS 7861, Minimum 10 days curing is required under hot weather condition. And the proper temperature needs to be maintained to do the curing. 20 degree Celsius is the ideal curing temperature. Next, let's look into the methods of curing. 
we have water curing steam curing membrane curing and curing compounds these are all the methods available for curing in water curing we have uh, many types like ponding wet cloth water spray ponding is this method we need to do ponding like this and we need to pour the water and we need to maintain this water for 7 days and wet cloth means we need to spread the hessian clothes or wet clothes on the surface of the concrete and then we need to pour the water on it it needs to be wet all and then water spray we can spray water like this and then do the curing and then steam curing can be done like this and then membrane curing so we'll be having the membrane materials like this we need to spread on this on the surface of the concrete and then we can do the curing next curing compounds so these curing compounds are the material which is available in the market so we can get that material and then spray it on the concrete surface fosra concure wb is the material curing curing material curing compound which is available in the market and it gives the best result let's look into this specification how we need to apply this concure wb material on the surface of the concrete it is the water based concrete curing compound as the spray applied membrane to retain moisture in concrete for effective curing suitable for all general concreting applications and of particular benefit for larger area concrete surfaces such as airport runways roads and bridge works standard compliance is given can cure wb give 75% or greater curing efficiency when tested to bs7542 and complies with astm c309 and asto m148 as type 1 let's look into the description can cure wb is a water based concrete curing compound based on a low viscosity wax emulsion it is supplied as a white emulsion which forms a clear film on drying when first applied to a fresh cementitious surface the emulsion breaks into form a continuous non penetrating white coating this dries to form a continuous clear film which provides a barrier to moisture loss ensuring more efficient cement hydration and improve durability and reduce shrinkage so as we discussed in the beginning it helps to reduce the moisture loss and it ensures more efficient cement hydration and it increase the durability and reduce the shrinkage so we have the application instructions let's look into the coverage rate the recommended coverage rate is between 3.5 and 5 meter square per liter so per liter we can cover 3.5 to 5 meter square coverage rates outside this recommended range may be used if necessary and suitable to meet specific requirements for further information we can contact the post rock service uh, department and equipment spray equipment producing a fine mist without damaging the emulsion may be used for concure wb such as knapsack or moisturized sprayers The suitability of equipment should be ensured by an application trial. Supply of the material Concure WB is supplied in 200 liter and 20 liter drums. So it is available in 200 liter and 20 liter drums. Storage Concure WB has minimum shelf life of 12 months provided the temperature is kept within the range of 4 degree to 35 degree Celsius. Freezing and prolonged exposure to heat or direct light should be avoided. So we need to store the material under this term. temperature so that's all about the technical data about concure wb so friends i hope you all like this video please do comment in the comment box if you really like the content hit the like button and also share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe the channel for more videos thank you for watching